I have this bottle here and it's got pH indicator in it. Now pH tells you how acidic or alkaline a substance is. And for the purpose of this demonstration, it's just going to detect whether there are any acids or bases present. So I'm going to put a little bit into each flask. This pH indicator turns different colors depending on the levels of acids and base it's, uh, it's exposed to. So I'm going to take this flask and I'm going to fill it with distilled water. Distilled water is about as pure water as I can make it in the lab anyway. So I'm going to add the distilled water to the universal indicator. And notice it's, that it's yellow. This is what I expect. For this particular indicator, yellow means neutral. So that means there aren't any acids or bases present. This is just pure water. Now, what happens when I add tap water to universal indicators? I'm going to take water straight out of the tap here. And it's not yellow. It's green, which means slightly alkaline. So there are some bases in tap water that aren't present in pure water. That's the main purpose here. It's just to show you that even though tap water looks clean, it's actually got stuff dissolved in it. And some of that stuff is base, and it turns it slightly alkaline. So pure water isn't a mixture, it's a pure substance. And the pH indicator tells us this is pretty much pure water. But the pH indicator tells us that tap water is not pure water. It's a mixture of water and a lot of other things, some of which are bases.